Welcome everybody, it's Ish Visuals. Welcome to another visual. As you can see from the title, I'm getting rid of my green 530i because I just don't need it anymore. I don't use it. It's just been sitting there ever since I got this 540. And I don't need this many, this many cars. Um, yeah, I just don't need it. And today I'm selling it to my friend Amir. What's up? He wants to buy it. And uh, yeah, pretty much needs a new water pump. We want to go grab a water pump right now. And I'm about to install it for them, and then after I put it in, they can drive it off. Sad scene, sad scene, but I gotta let it go, cause I got this much, I got this beast now, so don't need that beast no more. Sad scene, sad scene. But before I sell it, I gotta install this water pump in for them. Still gotta do a lot of stuff. It's getting late. There's the all the stuff I need to take off. I'm looking for that small ratchet so I can take off the pulley. On the fan and yeah dope car dope car time to get to work though try to put this water pump in real quick <laughs> taking off the air intake first so i get more play you don't have to take it off i'm just doing it so it could be easier for me to access and time to remove this fan should i move the fan right now yes i should remove the fan Four bolts right here, it's 10 millimeter socket. Pretty easy, not too hard. I just hope I got enough time to take this off. I did I did this a million times though, so I should be good. Not a million times, but yeah. I put blood, sweat, and tears already into this shit. <laughs> Dang, you getting hurt. Damn, dude. Hey, this shit, see? Damn, yeah, be careful when you guys take off a fan clutch, because that can happen. I have my fingers have gotten sliced before because of that. <clears throat> okay, let's see what else, what else, what else, what else, what else. I should probably take off the belt. Next, take the belt off. You, you get your 13 millimeter socket. Pull on the pulley. Take off the belt. Pretty easy. Voila. <laughs> this whole pulley came off. And belt is off. Pretty easy. Nothing too hard. <clears throat> Next, we're gonna want to take off all the water pump bolts, and we do have to take off the AC belt to get to the water pump. So, ah, oh, damn, dude, I forgot. There's 13. No, I think it's like seven 13 socket bolts on the. What's that part called? Har harmonic balancer. Damn, I need my extension. All right, hold on. Yeah, there's six bolts on the harmonic balancer. Take them all off. 13 millimeter socket. And then you just pull the harmonic balancer off, as you can see. Damn, it's leaking the water, <laughs> the water pump. But yeah, 13, boom. Plug, plug them in, 13 socket. And yeah, now the harmonic ba balancer is off. Now we can access the water pump bolts, 10 millimeter socket. Pretty easy, nothing too crazy. Now let's take them off. Get those hoses off. Next, take off the thermostat, housing. I was not trying to get out today. Some guys pissed. Don't do drugs, guys. Don't do drugs. I guess his phone broke and he was like kind of homeless so he doesn't have money for a screen so it's pretty pissed at me. Damn he's mad. He hit niggas cars. Whoa. Oh, kind of tripping. Man he hit somebody's car. Gonna have to watch the 540. Oh, hey, it's gonna be a problem. He hits my 540. I'm gonna be pissed dude. Right, that was the last bolt on the water pump. It's six bolts on the water pump. Should come off now. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it's connected to the pipe side. I like, kind of got to wiggle it out. Ah, oh, man. This is the tricky part. 
get all that leaky. Damn, that's a lot. Where my tools at? Damn, I got coolant all over my shoes. <laughs> Coolant. That's coolant mixed with water. That's mostly water. <laughs> okay. You like kind of got a wiggle in it. Oh, shoot. Ah, yes. Yes, 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 yes. It came off. The water pump came off. Where was it faulty at? I don't know, but there's the old water pump. Damn, dude. Was that like half an hour water pump? Yeah. Probably less, 20 minutes. <clears throat> Alright, there's the old one. Um, I need to scrape the old gasket. Oh yeah, after you take it off, make sure the old gasket is like off really good thoroughly. Um, oh, cool, the pipes are still in place. I was scared of that. If they do fall out of place, I don't think it's the end of the world. You just put them back in and you should be good. But yeah, the new water pump came with a gasket and o rings. Yeah. Alright, all we gotta do is bolt everything back up and everything should be good. Good job, team. It's visual. They're taking off the the gas, the remainder with the gasket on the water pump. And uh, now I'm just putting the o rings in the new water pump. And uh, I'll go ahead and put the new gasket. It looks like it's not OEM, but it's just, it's just, it should still do the trick. And there's gasket marker, so it won't go anywhere. So get this done quick before it gets dark. Try to get this uh, water pump job done in an hour. It's pretty quick. <laughs> but yeah, really sad, sad story. Don't want to sell this car. Um, I low-key drove this car. Well, I already told you guys, I drove this car from LA to Chicago and back. And I low key filmed when I was like in uh, what state was that? In Iowa. So here's a clip from Iowa with the beans. Alright, everybody, we're at. We're in Iowa. We're at the world's. Apparently, it's the world's largest truck stop in the entire world. So let me zoom in on that for you guys. What does that say? World's largest truck stop. And there's another one right there. update you guys when I'm in the next state so yeah that's where I am right now I think that took me like two hours to get here and yeah just trying to keep it moving I'm trying to hurry up and get there for me so yeah keep you guys tuned in to the next state I'll let you boy we in the next state already bah. but yeah this I drove the, it was like 5,000 miles there and back um damn I mean this car has been through thick and thin and it's Really sad and depressing to just knowing I gotta let it go, but it has to go. I, I, I have no need for it no more. <clears throat> it did me good, it did me justice. The two years that I've owned it, I put, I got it at what, 168,000 miles, and now it's at 200,000 miles. So I had a good, I had a good 40,000 mile run with this car, but it's time to get it out of here now. We moved on to bigger and better things. Now. And uh, it's time to let go. It's like, you know, you're a kid, but you got to grow up someday. And now, I grew up with the 540, and I'm an adult now, so <clears throat> that's my new baby. And yeah, so sad, so sad. Almost done putting all the stuff back together, though. Alright, so things turned out pretty bad. Um, I had to take off the, the whole intake manifold because for some reason, the the tubes connected to the water pump all the way to back by the firewall they weren't going in so i had to take off the whole intake manifold and um pretty much like prepped it so it can go into the water pump and yeah now it's in everything's in it's like what time is it it's 12 19 a.m 
what should have been an hour, hour and a half job is now five, six hour job. And um, everything's good. We bolted everything back up now. Water pump should be good. And we just need to go get some gas now. Because when I took off the, I already, I didn't have no gas in there to begin with. And when I took off the intake manifold, that like drained all the gas. So there's no gas. So now I'm about to go get some gas and see if this baby runs. There's the 540. Here's the 530. Fix the water pump issue. Well, I don't see nothing yet. No leaks or nothing yet. Um, letting it warm up, see if it leaks. Um, and yeah, long job. Not expected to be this long. I'm super frustrated. I'm tired. It's 1 a.m. in the morning. I should be sleeping right now, getting ready for work tomorrow morning. But yeah, it wasn't starting at first because there was no gas in there. And, um,. Yeah, I went to go with gas, prepped it up, started. Started pretty smooth too. No bad signs yet. And um, yeah, looks like a good running car. These are the twins. I forgot who who the hell is buying it. You're buying it. <laughs> Hold on, you guys gotta stand next to each other. Right here in the light, so they can see what I'm talking about. Cause then they're gonna be like, how do you not know who you're selling it to? Thing one, let him see, watch out. Thing one, thing two. <laughs> and he's buying it. Alright, sold my car for a thousand dollars and here's the key. Have fun. It's visual. Signing out, see you guys next video. <laughs> I'm tired, I'm about to go sleep. She's gone. She's gone. Look, look at those tail lights. So sad, dude. So sad.